hey guys welcome back to coding stuff and in this video we'll learn how we can set some data to singleton class and how we can get that data from the singleton class so basically what singleton is a uh, singleton class can have only one instance throughout the app or throughout the project we use singleton class uh, in many scenarios like when we need to instantiate a room database or retrofit we use singleton class to avoid creation of multiple instance of a database but in this video we will use singleton class as a kind of data holder it will keep some data as long as app is running so yeah let's get into it So keeping some data in singleton class uh, when this approach can be helpful uh, let's say you want to display the same data in multiple screens so instead of fetching the same data in all the screens we can just fetch it once and then set it to the singleton class and then whenever we need it uh, we can just get it from the singleton class or again let's say you have some uh, internet server and you want to display some data in home screen so instead of fetching that data in home screen we can just fetch that data two or one screen before so user will not have to wait to data get fetched so we can just fetch that data in splash screen or loader screen and then just set it to the singleton class and then we can just get that data in home screen so user will not have to wait till the data get fetched so at this point uh, this singleton pattern can be helpful so as you can see this is a recycler view app and you can see this kind of nice animation so if you want to add this kind of animations to your recycler view you can just check out the video in the i button in that video i have talked about uh, four animation that four or five animations that you can add to your recycler view so yeah in this app uh, this is the main activity and inside the main activity I'm adding this data into the list and then I'm just uh, displaying it on the main screen but now we will use singleton class to hold this list and we will just get uh, this list from the singleton, singleton class and then we will pass it to the adapter uh, as you can see over here so let me just uh, delete this and we just have the activity main here as you can see we have the recycle view and the search view now what i will do i'll create one splash screen let's click on your package activity select empty activity we'll name it as a splash activity inside the layout uh, will not have anything we can just bring one text view here we'll constrain it horizontal in parent vertical in parent let's increase the text size textile let's make it bold text size to 30 sp let's just name it as a splash text color let's give it as a black so yeah this is our splash screen and inside the manifest we'll copy this intent filter from here and we'll paste it inside the splash activity so the splash activity will open first as soon as our app is installed and then we'll move to the splash activity let's cre create one handler handler equals to new handler handler dot post delayed new runnable and we need to override this run method but we'll pass one parameter here let's say of 4000 milliseconds so four seconds as a delay and then ins inside this we can just start the activity with new intent we can pass this splash activity as a context and then the destination we want to reach main activity dot class we can just finish it over here so now we will create one singleton class to hold the list so click on your package new java class let's uh, name it as a list singleton click on ok 
and then inside this uh, first we'll create a static instance of this class so list okay let's just make it as a list singleton we'll name it as instance and then we'll create a private list of type item as you can see i have one model class named as item in which i have the drawable image and the name and i can just name it as item list i will initialize it over here as a new array list and then we will create a private constructor of this class so private list singleton and then the method to create instance and get the instance of this list singleton class because we have the constructor as a private here as you can see so we need to create one method that can instantiate this class and that that method should be synchronized and static so let's name it as a, uh, let's call public static synchronized and return type will be list singleton we'll name this method as a get instance and here we can just have one check of if the instance is equals to null if instance is not created yet we, then we can just create the instance so instance equals to new singleton list singleton and yeah that's it and then we can just return this instance so this way only once this instance will be created and every time we call this method we will just uh, return the previously created instance if the instance is not created then it will just create it and then return it if the instance is already created it will just return this instance so yeah now we'll create a getters and setters for our array list so generate getter and setter select this list click on ok and yeah that's it so that's it for our singleton class it is pretty simple so we use static the so here we use static and synchronized static uh, because we want to access it before creating the instance of it so when we use static we can just access it without referencing to the object of the class and we use synchronize because we want uh, this block to be thread safe so only one thread can access this at a time so yeah so now i'll just close this or okay let's just keep it we'll move to the main activity and as you can see i have added some data in the main activity to this item list so i'm just gonna cut it so here we can just create one list private list of item item list we can initialize it over here so item list equals to new array list and then i can just paste that code over here and inside this handler we can just call our list singleton dot get instance dot set item list and i can just pass this item list so in this example i'm just gonna keep the static data but in more or uh, re real case uh, you would you would just fetch data from the internet or you can just get a data from the room database in the splash activity and this way you can just set that list to the singleton class and then in the main activity we will get that list over here so inside the main activity as you can see uh, we don't have anything to add the data inside this item list so let's try to run the app so the splash screen for four seconds and then our main screen which uh, doesn't have anything so as you can see so our item list is empty because we did add our data into it in the splash activity but we do not have anything in the main activity so what we can do we can just get that data from the list singleton as we already added that data into the list singleton as you can see here so let's move to the main activity call our list singleton dot get instance dot get item list and i can just pass this over here and if i try to run the app now it will work so splash screen for four seconds and as you can see the data has been fetched over here 
so yeah this is working and to show you the nice animation again i can just copy it and paste it and let's try to run the app again so splash screen and we got the nice animations as well so yeah that's it for this video i hope you understand how you can use the singleton class to hold some data in this video we hold the list and again you can just hold anything that you want and i already mentioned all the use cases where you can use this singleton class so yeah that's it do subscribe and thank you for watching